Hey guys, my name is Sophie. I go by Life by Sophie on TikTok, Instagram, and now YouTube. Um, today I'm just going to be talking to you guys about my journey into coding, why I fell in love with it, why I love it still, why I think it's important for you guys to also be exposed to it. Um, so if you're interested in kind of learning a little bit more about my journey, make sure you keep watching. So how did I get into coding? I was originally introduced to coding through a camp at UCLA. I applied to a engineering summer camp um, my rising year, my rising junior year of high school. And so I kind of got exposed to coding and was like, this is something that I want to do. So when I returned to high school that year, I looked for the teacher for the intro to computer science class. I told them about my experience and um, you know, she was like, I think this will be a great fit for you. So I took the intro to CS class and then the following year I took AP computer science. Um, up until computer science, I'd never taken a class that I felt that I was, I, like that I, that, that really pushed me to my limits in terms of thinking. I say that to say computer science has a very unique of waking, of making you think and it's very uncomfortable and it can be very hard and so after you know taking that class i think that was the first b that i'd ever gotten so i was a straight a student i had a 4.5 gpa and that was the first class that i received a b in and it was like heart-wrenching to me i couldn't understand how you know it wasn't coming so easy to me like what do you mean like i thought you just have to do your homework go to class uh, study and then you should understand everything and that wasn't the case uh, there was a lot there's a lot more effort um, or at least for me there was a lot more effort that needed to be done so when I decided to apply I knew that I wanted to still be in engineering and I'd always loved biology and chemistry so I was like let me apply as a biomedical engineer so I got into the University of California Irvine um, in the engineering school as a biomedical engineer um, after that first year, I realized that I did not like chemistry. Um, there was no biology. And so I was like, okay, I did not do enough research. This is not the major that I want. I don't enjoy this. Um, and I, during this time, I'd gone involved with an entrepreneur club on campus. And um, I was really falling in love with this idea of being able to code up a solution like for any issue, right? Like creating an app or, um, you know, there's so many use cases for coding. And so that was highlighted to me in this entrepreneur club that I was in. And I, it kind of just reignited my love for coding and I love the practicality of it. And so I told myself, if something's hard, that's not a good enough reason to not pursue it. If you're, if you're passionate about something and you think that that something is what you should be doing, just because it's hard, that's not a good enough reason to not do it. So with that being said, I wanted to stay in the School of Engineering, so I applied for the uh, Computer Science and Engineering, or I switched to Computer Science and Engineering, which is essentially a program that mixes computer engineering and computer science at my school, so half hardware, half software. I later found out that I am not a fan of hardware, but I really fell in love and enjoyed the software aspect of it. So that's kind of how I got into coding um, and why I'm kind of still in it. Um, yeah, it's something that I'm super, super passionate about. If I had any advice for, um, incomers into coding or, or STEM or computer science, I think that it's really, really important to remember that it takes a lot of due diligence, a lot of grit, um, and resilience. Like you cannot give up easy. You have to figure out how you learn. I always say this, but you, you need to figure out the best strategy um, for you to learn. And so for me, I know that going to class was not enough. I had to go to class. I also had to go to professor office hours, I had to go to TA office hours. I had to find study groups. Um, on top of study groups, I also had to find um, online resources, other programs that offered help, like free help to make sure that I understood things. So it took a lot for me. Like, you know, there's someone in the class, they may just, you know, go to class, take notes, and that should be good. Like that's all they need to be successful. But for me, I had to take all those other steps and that's okay. You just have to make sure that you figure that out early on so that you can ensure that you are also successful.
It's like every job wants you to have experience, but if I don't have experience, how do I get experience? Internships, that's co-ops, that's how you get experience. So the summer between your college, you know, when you're in college, the summers in between, you should either be taking like summer classes to help you advance getting your degree quicker, or make your, your semester, your quarter easier, or number two, you should be doing an internship. Um, if you can't do an internship, you can also do um, research. Maybe you can intern at a, a lab on campus so that you can still gain some exposure, something to put on your resume, right? It's really important um, to get that exposure early on. So I, when I was a rising junior, um, I actually, was I a rising junior? No, sorry, when I was a rising senior, I interned. So the summer before my senior year, I interned at a great company. Um, and then after that, I actually received a full-time offer and decided to go back, and that's the company that I'm currently at. But that experience for me was amazing. Uh, it really taught me how to collaborate with teams. It taught me what the tech space looks like in the professional world. And a lot of the times when you're in school, you can really put on like these goggles or like this focus length of just like, I need to get good grades. I need to just do my classes and you can get lost of the practicality or how to apply coding. And so doing an internship kind of opens up that world of, hey, I've learned X, Y, and Z. This is how I apply X, Y, and Z. Or like these are the type, this, this is what I would be doing as a software engineer. So I think getting an internship is incredibly important. So I get a lot of questions about like why like, why are you posting things on, on TikTok? Um, like, are you getting paid for this? And honestly, no, I'm not getting paid for any of this. Um, I'm not getting sponsored or, or whatever. I genuinely want to be a role model for those that are going into STEM and feel like maybe they don't have representation or they don't have someone that they can relate to. Because when I was in STEM, I wanted someone to look up to. I wanted somebody, I craved somebody that was, you know, that had been there and that was willing to help me get there as well. And so for me, I joined NSBE, the National Society of Black Engineers, and that really served a purpose for me and really helped me say like, hey, there's so much possibility for me and like all of these people are doing it. There's nothing stopping me from doing it as well. And it also opens you up to different connections and things. So that's one of the main reasons why I put resources online on mainly on TikTok because I want to create a community and kind of help nurture uh, rising uh, minds into STEM. I think it's super, super important. I think that even if you're not in computer science or you're not necessarily, you don't want to be a software engineer, you don't want to be a coder, programmer, whatever it may be, it's super important to be exposed to technology and how it works. Um, we are users of technology. We use it 24-7. It revolves all around us. It makes the world go round. And I think that it is incredibly um, important to be an informed user. And so even if you don't want to go into coding, maybe doing a game or, or playing or using an app that I recommend or something like that, just to kind of help your mind wrap your head around exactly how the technology that you're interacting with every day works. Because I think that it's important to be an informed user. And so it just helps you open up that world and there's not this huge level of like obscurity that you have no idea what coding is or you, you don't have you you know you're like oh this is my phone and like there's just a magic box here no like you should know you should have at least a little bit of an idea of what um is behind all of the technology that you use